All right, everyone, here we go. I didn't even grab for a pre-shuffle. We are here. It's one of these readings. It's for anybody who finds it. It's just unplanned. I planned to take the day off today, but I took a walk this morning. I take a walk every morning. Most of the time, I, uh, few, about four days a week, I run. I ran yesterday. And I walked out this morning, and everything looked different. I often joke to you guys. I mean, I know we're on top of eclipse energy right now, and, and eclipse energy is weird. It's always a little wobbly on the eclipse day. I'm shuffling for a pre-shuffle right now. I know it's a little wobbly often on eclipse day. But I often joke with you guys about jumping timelines, right? You wake up. Well, I, I joke with you. You're not going to wake up and jump a timeline in the sense of there's going to be all of a sudden Tyrannosaurus Rex and dinosaurs walking around outside. Right? It's never anything that drastic. Well, I kind of had that this morning. I think, I think we jumped a bit of a timeline. I walked out this morning and everything looked a little different. I came around the corner, my usual corner I come around, and it looked different. I thought, what's different about this? Well, first of all, it was foggy. That was weird, but that, I didn't, that didn't really bother me too much. And then I noticed that a giant 150-foot radio tower that's usually there isn't there. It was gone. It changes the whole view of the landscape of the entire area that I normally see when I come around that corner. It was just gone. And it was there the day before because I saw it on my run and I saw it again on an afternoon walk I take. So they must have come in in the middle of the night, some little elves, and dismantled it. I'm sure they did. I'm sure there's no magic happening. But it's a sign. It tells you something. It shows you something. It shows you that things are weird. It shows you that this eclipse is doing something. And I think it is. That's an ace. It's an ace of swords. I appreciate it. So that's why we're here. I thought I'd share it. I thought I'd pull on the energy. So I said, like, I, the radio tower was missing. I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go home and pull on the energy. I thought I'd hit record. And we'll see where we go. All right. I do think this is a big eclipse. I do think this is a big deal eclipse. And I talked about it. You know, I've, I, I pulled on it. But let's see what's going on here. I'm not pulling on the eclipse energy itself. We've already done that. I'm just pulling on... Why the fuck is my radio tower missing, and have we jumped a fucking timeline? I think the answer is yes, because an ace is a new beginning, right? So, we got an ace of swords. Let's see what the universe wants to talk about. What does it mean to you, right? Okay, well, let's find out. Ace of swords crossed by the king of wands. And the king of swords. I've got someone who normally doesn't like, attach to you, who normally doesn't like to hold this sword, the sword of truth, right? Archangel Michael, sword of truth. Now, holding it. Right, I've got this. I, I, that's why I kind of stopped for a second because it's it's not really a separate card here. It's this king turning into this one, this asshole turning into this really noble king because they're holding this sword and actually dealing with it in some way, in some capacity, something completely different, something that changes the landscape of who they are. Meaning, I got a lot of blue here. The words that are coming out of their mouth are very different. This is a person who talks a lot. They talk and they double talk. Right? It's darker blue here than it is here. They double talk a lot. This person just says what needs to be said. Right? To say the truth. And the truth isn't always lengthy. Right? The lie, if somebody's telling a lie, it requires a whole story. You've got to set it up and you've got to keep talking about it and going back to it. And all that kind of stuff. The truth, you can just, yeah, there you go. Radio tower missing. Okay, that's the truth. There you go. Done. I mean, it is what it is. Simple. Right? Somebody here. A lot of healing coming from it. They're looking at the things they didn't do. I often tell people, if you want to, <laughs> if you want to fix your life a little bit, trace the mistakes. You know, find some time to trace the mistakes. Somebody's tracing the mistakes here. This could be you. Roles can be reversed, but I, it feels more like an incoming energy attached to this King of Wands, the Burger King, right? Got to have it their way. This could be a, a soulmate attached to you. It could be a long lost runner. Somebody attached to you is looking at uh, where they went wrong, the things they didn't do. Um, the directions they didn't go, the moves they didn't make, I'm right there. It was all about you, right? There's you, the Empress. For you're definitely a part of it. The people they didn't bang, right? The love they didn't have. Mm. I see somebody doing something about it, maybe with the Knight of Swords here. They feel left out. They want to go after the dream. Those those come late. It's really just the Empress book ending the uh, Ace of Swords, but uh, very interesting. Somebody. I think this energy, let's say, let's say for the sake of argument, as I shuffle for our reading, let's say for the sake of argument we had a timeline shift. I think this timeline shift changes our perspective on things. It, 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 it changes gears a little bit for us. 
I think it's a good thing. I think we're changing into a good gear. Changing from the King of Wands to the King of Swords is the right direction. Okay? The wrong direction would be the other way. Oh, I'm a truthful person. Now I'm going to become a lion sack of shit Burger King. Right? No. The King of Wands makes you believe anything is possible. The King of Swords does what is possible. Right? Doesn't make you believe. It just tells you what's possible and we do it. The King of, the, the King of Wands will make shit up that's possible. You know? It's a very ego-based energy. All right, let's see where we're at here. This card before the cuts. Why the fuck are we here? It's a good thing to ask in a reading that is unplanned. I really, honestly, I was going. You can. I was going to take the day off today. All right. Nope. No day off for me. That's fine. I don't need a day off. All right. Let's go. It's general reading. May or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here, or that motherfucker is making you stay, you're staying for a reason. That's the devil. Yeah. Um. It felt that way. Uh, the reading is timeless, by the way. Whenever you find it, you're meant to find it. This is um, something that feels karm what, what the kids like to call karmic. There's something... It, it's funny. You know, that tower... I'll just give the example with me, and then I'll tell you why this energy feels this way. That tower, I had put an energy on. I had put something on it. Okay, I used to look at that tower and I would sing to myself the song that would pop into my head is Last da uh, uh, Mary Jane's Last Dance by Tom Petty, right? Last dance with Mary Jane, one more time to kill the pain. I feel summer creeping in. I'm tired of this town again, okay? And for some reason, every time I looked at that tower, that song would pop in my head, right? So I get home and I ask myself, why? Where would the Tom Petty Tower go? Because that's what I would call it. I would call it the Tom Petty Tower. And it's gone. It's missing. It was there yesterday. It's gone today. I go home and I Google Tom Petty. Today is October 2nd. And I see that this is the day he died in 2017. He was there on the 1st. He was gone on the 2nd. So to some sort of massive karmic tie-in for everybody here in this timeline. Something about this timeline ties to something in your life, okay? Something that's going away ties to something. I don't know what yet. It's too soon to tell. I'm just telling you that because it freaked me out. And it takes a lot to freak me out. I'm Steve, right? I, nice to meet you. I run this channel, right? Energy guy, my friends call me, you know, that kind of thing. Freaked me the fuck out. Well, I mean, yeah, you might say, what a coinky dink, right? No, there's no such thing as coincidences, okay? So... Whatever this is, it's a big deal. This particular timeline jump. This energy, this eclipse, it's a big deal. It's tied to the eclipse, but it's tied to just, it's tied to more than that. We've jumped some kind of timeline. Not quite a timeline that brings, you wake up in the morning and there's dinosaurs outside. But, and some of you may not notice anything different. You may not have a, a radio tower that's missing or a water tower that's missing in your neighborhood. You might not. Someone didn't come take it away in the middle of the night. But take a look around for the things, for things that used to be there that aren't there. All right? Some, somewhere the answer lies in there. All right? I don't know. But I know we're here because of this devil. So why is this devil here? Somebody attached to you. You have a connection with somebody. That's a very big deal. Mm. The lovers. Mm. What did I just say? I said, you have a connection with somebody that's a very big deal. And I cut the cards and I pull the lovers. The lovers is the card that comes after the cut. This is a card that represents some powerful soulmates. You got healing coming to a soulmate connection in this timeline shift. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think the universe is making it happen for a reason. All right? And I told you the story about that radio tower because it's freaky. It freaked me out. And it's a God's honest truth. It's, it's, I've been since about... 2019 since about 2019 I've been calling it the Tom Petty Tower and every time I look at it for some reason the universe puts last Mary Jane's last dance in my head and today it was missing October 2nd Google Tom Petty you'll see why October 2nd is a big deal so th that means something maybe specific to me about this timeline shift I don't know no idea but it, 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 but I definitely know we've had a timeline shift and a lot of people are going to be jumping. It's a big timeline shift. When little things disappear, it's a little one. When big things disappear, and I notice it. The universe uses me as a conduit. I notice these things. It's a big deal. This was a big tower. 
I mean, it's a big part of the area. You couldn't miss it. You could see it from a mile away, right? They used to hang a flag off it on 4th of July. You know, big, big, giant flag. Now it's, it's not there. It's fucking crazy. All right, let's shuffle the deck. I'm just telling you, take it for what it's worth to you, but we've jumped a timeline. It's not just this eclipse. It's not just the eclipse energy. There's something bigger going on. And we heading into it. Wow, I love it. I love it. I love times like this. They get an energy reader excited, I will tell you. I love it. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Coincidence? Some, some people might be saying, well, it's just a coincidence with that Tom Petty. No, it isn't. No, it isn't. That's, if that's a coincidence, there's no such thing as coincidence. You learn that very quickly when you start reading energy. You know, I know. I study psychology, too. I know psychologists like to cast it off as, you know, well, your, your brain is creating this and that. No, your, we don't create anything. Right? We, don't, we don't create energies. We, we swim into them. They're all, they're all already there. Here's the Eight of Swords. Is the overall energy of this reading. You're, you have a very karmic connection with somebody. Something very big is about to happen in a connection you have with somebody. Very big. Why is the Eight of Swords here? The Ace of Cups. I mean, something you thought, it's over, it's done, I feel trapped by it, nothing's ever going to happen here, it's bullshit. I mean, I've been standing here so long, I peed myself, look, you know, you know God. You're drinking too much water, by the way, the urine's too clear. Um, but you, you, you're looking for a Chardonnay, okay? Uh, but uh, Ace of Cups, it's flowing. I mean, it is flowing. Something's about to start flowing that hasn't been. And it's not just your, your, your urine coming out of the bottom of your skirt there. All right, let's go. Um, something very big is about to happen. Only you can notice it, though. You know, Eight of Swords is something only we can get ourselves out of. Only you can get yourself out of that. All right, let's see where we're at here. Um, so this energy might show up. And you need to be, you know, again, you're getting this information so you're not blindsided by it. Okay? You're getting this information for a reason. I'm doing this reading for a reason. It's totally unplanned. Right here, the energy around your connection with whoever this is. The devil and the lovers. I mean, it's, it's a powerful connection. Right here is the energy around your connection. 3D energies around this person. Their soul is here. Hidden energy message from the universe is here. It's read with the energy of your connection. Right here is the potential final outcome. I say potential because I cannot predict free will. Nobody can. I'll clarify everything. Throw some universe cards at the end. And you bet your sweet asses I'm going to extend this one. Because I want to know some more here. I like this. Devil and the lovers. Wow. Energy around your connection. Yeah, four of wands. It was supposed to happen. There's a connection with somebody that was supposed to happen. There's something faded that was supposed to happen. <clears throat> it was supposed to happen. Something about this connection. You were supposed to walk a path, path with this person. Even you're confused why this person's not in your life, whoever it is. Okay? I get it. They're still there. There's a huge tie here. There's a huge tie in. Some aspect that blocked it is going away, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out more. But that's a, that's a beautiful card to have there. I'm, I'm telling you, the way I read that, that was supposed to happen. This was supposed to be a picture in your photo album. You don't have it. I don't have it, Steve. I can't find it. Mm, I bet. No doubt. Um, so something's about to happen here. Okay. Uh, 3D energies around whoever this person is. The Five of Swords. Um, somebody's been getting in their own way. I don't think they still are. We'll see what happens when we clarify. But either somebody's been getting in the way of this person seeing clearly, or somebody's, or they've been getting in their own way. Okay. Um, We'll find out more when we clarify there. That's very interesting. Mm. Their soul is here. It bookends the four of wands. Six of pentacles. Yeah. Um, this was supposed to happen. Your connection with this person was supposed to happen. The soul was, it was, it was well prepared to give to this. It's about giving. It's a balanced energy. It's bookending your connection, the four of wands. I'm telling you, it was supposed to happen. Something, somebody got in there, shot themselves in the foot, got in their own way, self-sabotaged, or it was sabotaged. One or the other. <clears throat> Sorry about my voice today. It's really, really foggy here. It's crazy. Mm. And they took my favorite radio tower away. Fuckers. All right. Right here. In this timeline, it doesn't exist. How about that? Um, hidden energy. Message from the universe. Read with, it was supposed to happen. Yeah, it was supposed to happen. It's a Hereford. This was, this is supposed to, you were supposed to, I don't, I'm, 
this person is supposed to be in your life or you were supposed to do something with this person. You had some kind of future. You had some kind of fate with this person and something fucked it up. This is a correction, right? We talk about, that's what's happening right now, a correction. That's what's happening. We talk about it all the time. I've mentioned it before, right? The universe corrects things. I've studied this. I've studied people that have died in strange ways, okay? And in every case, strange way, walking down the street, a tree flies over a mountain, down a hill, hits, a, hits some kid's sled, slides over and kills them. I mean, something crazy like that, right? Crazy town. You research that person, you find they cheated death at some other point. They were supposed to do this, but it didn't happen. It happens a lot more these days with our modern medicine. There are certain things that are supposed to happen that we kind of jump in and we sabotage the energy, right? And the universe always catches up. Energy is not, and when energy is knocked out of balance, the universe tries to rebalance it. I use the example all the time of Back to the Future. In our universe, Michael J. Fox is Marty McFly. In, in, and that didn't that, but we're, we're also in the universe where that got fucked up somewhere along the line because family ties wouldn't let him go do it and we ended up with Eric Stoltz for a little while but that the universe corrected that it did a total correction on that and said you know so this guy this seasoned actor all of a sudden couldn't figure out this role and play this role they had to let him go and then all of a sudden Michael's free to come in and do the role that's a correction that's, that's a correction that I can use as an example because everyone can witness it and see it. You know, there's no reason, and I always say there's no reason that Eric Stoltz couldn't have done that role. It's a simple role to play. You're a teenager, plays guitar, got a girlfriend, and a cool little scientist that's got a fucking time. It's a piece of cake. Okay? It's an easy role. It's not, it's not fucking rocket science. So, that being said here, the universe doing a correction. This was supposed to happen. You are supposed to do something with this person, be with this person, walk some path. I'm not saying you're supposed to marry them or be all like that. You're supposed to do something. All right? And the universe is doing a correction here. It's a course correction. It is. And sometimes you notice when this is happening by things missing. Okay? That's the only reason my radio tower story shows up here. Sometimes when the universe is doing a, re a rebalancing, and it's going to be different for everybody how it plays out. But I'm pulling on a specific person attached to you and a connection you have. So if you're here, it's Steve's Love Tarot, you're here for this. For other people that aren't part of the soulmate cycle, it's going to be other things. Other things are going to re-correct re and correct themselves. Some people are going to die real funny, you know, real weird. Somebody drive into a building for no apparent fucking reason, you know. I mean, it's just, it's, it's, it's strange, but it happens. It's just energy rebalancing. That's all it is. So the end of the day here that's what's going on in this soul connection you're supposed to do something with this person if this person's already passed on I would say that you do this in the 5d there's something that's addressed in the 5d and whatever's been blocking that from happening goes away temporarily all right but you won't see it if you're worried about it so don't worry about it this may have been a connection you have worried about. You may be, if because of this Eight of Swords, you may be watching this going, yeah, I thought the same thing, Steve. I know you're talking about we were supposed to do something and it just didn't happen. I hear you. I hear you. Potential final outcome. Red with the Five of Swords. Yeah, high Priestess. Yeah, uh, It's still there. It, it's a connection that won't go away. I've got the High Priest and the High Priestess. This is a divine connection. This was supposed to happen. I stand by my words. Uh, somebody here is now... I mean, it might be a little bit of too little too late, but they come and this is your energy attached. This is the DF energy. This is the DM energy. Um, there was something supposed to happen here. This is a very, very divine connection. So much so, I'm going to clarify the Rider weight with the big animal deck. The deck I would normally use for readings. And I've got three cups at the bottom. Three, a very powerful number. Look, I'm not here for no reason. Okay? I'm here for a reason. This is I knew this was going to be a big reading. I knew it was going to be a big day and a big energy when I walked outside, came around the corner about a couple of blocks away, and I noticed what is missing. A giant fucking tower. Gone. And it was there yesterday. That's a big deal. That's a sign for me that, that there's something going on in the energy. This is proof. This is a reading I would have pulled offline. I'm pulling it in front of you. And it definitely pertains to a soul connection because that's what I'm pulling on. I'm pulling on the soulmate cycle. Uh, but this can be a soul's true purpose for you as well. Okay? I have to say that because some people, some people think in a very linear way. I need you to be lateral thinkers here. Okay? I'm sorry I did the Trump thing. I apologize. I just mean I need you to, to be lateral thinkers here. 
Okay? Um, four of Wands, why is it here? I'm not trying to tell you that what I'm saying is bigger than what it is. I'm not trying to say that. I'm trying to stretch your thinking. That's all. Uh, four of Wands. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's see where we're at. Hmm. What do you want to tell me about the Four of Wands? This can be a, a, a soul's true purpose. This could be a path you were supposed to walk of some kind. All right? Something very important. Something that balances your energy. And then something knocked your energy out of balance. So it's, it's what this is right now, when I say a timeline jump, it's more of a rebalancing. Okay? A redressing of the energy. It's like that. Sort of like in the old days, every once in a while you had to balance your checkbook. You know, everything's all computer now. But back in the day, you had a book. And you would balance it out. And you go, well, that ain't right. And you go back and do the math and balance the checkbook. That's kind of what's happening here. But for most of you, this is with a specific connection. Something that you've at least wondered about. Well, that's the four of wands here. I could dig it. Yep, here it comes. Well, you were supposed to, it's forward movement. The eight of wands, you were supposed to do this. Somebody made a free will decision not to. Because mine are arcana. Somebody made a free will decision to blow off this connection. I don't know how. I don't know what the fuck they... This is tough, man. This is big energy. The soul was on board, ready to go. I got minor arcana here, too. Minor arcana there. Yeah. Yeah, what's on top? Yeah, the four of pentacles. Somebody was afraid. Somebody held back. Somebody didn't say what they needed to say. Somebody was scared. Got it. You were supposed to do it, but they decided not to. They were afraid to say something. Somebody was afraid to speak up. Eight of Wands, crossing, could be anything. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? It was the Divine Masculine side that was afraid. It's the Emperor. And look, it's one of only two cards in this deck that has the Eclipse on it. That's the Solar Eclipse right there. It's one of only two cards in this deck that has it. And it shows up right there. Look, this is a big deal. It's red with the Hierophant, the Divine Masculine Energy, which I said earlier, this is the DM, this is the DF. This is your final outcome. Somebody coming to talk to you. Somebody was afraid to tell you something. Somebody was afraid to share their feelings with you. Somebody was chicken shit. The universe is redressing that. The universe is rebalancing right now. All right? I don't know why it had to take my tower away, but that, that's my thing. That means something for me. I don't know what that means. I have no idea. I'll figure it out as the timeline goes on. I'm just sharing it as an example. It's why I'm here. I pay attention to the signs. The energy is always talking to us. The energy is yelling at me, Steve, the runner of this channel, by taking away a 150-foot tower. <laughs> okay? I mean, it's a big deal. And what's really funny is when I, I ran into a couple of people, when I asked them about it, they didn't seem to notice. You know, they almost looked at me like I was crazy. I was like, you just got to turn around. You know, it's weird. It's, it's all very weird. And that's, again, why I'm here. And you can see the way this reading is falling. Look at this. Right? The Divine Masculine, afraid to say something. You was, this was supposed to happen. Uh, I don't know why. Let's find out. 3D energies around this person. Very self-sabotaging. Or sabotaging. This could be someone they're married to that sabotages things for them. This could be. You know. This could be their family that sabotages things for them. Could be. Uh, my father's energy with me was always a bit of a bull in a china closet. Anytime he would come around, he was sort of, he was kind of, a, his energy was kind of a bit of a ruiner. It would knock things over, you know, bow in a china closet. He'd, it would ruin relationships. He'd say something out inappropriate, you know, something along those lines. It, it was just always like that. So that was the same kind of energy that our relationship used to show up as quite a bit, Five of Swords, you know. It's so, about a, a bit of uh, one step forward, two steps back. Um, but this is the energy around this person. This could be their own propensity to stab themselves in the foot. This could be, I mean, ah, this could be a lot of things. What's going on here? Yeah, the Queen of Cups. Somebody here loves something and, you know, that, you know that song, If You Love Someone, Set Them Free? I think Sting did it or some shit like that, right? Um, this is the opposite. It's, if you love someone, stick a sword in it, right? Mountain, right? It's like, I really love geese. So what do I do? I go shoot them all and stuff them and then hang them on my wall. It's kind of someone's reaction toward love. Rather than just observe it in nature and maybe enjoy it, they got to have it hanging on their wall as a trophy. So this could be someone who usually goes after trophy things. Maybe you were a little out of their league. Maybe they thought that. Maybe they thought you'd hurt their ego. I don't know. It could play out a lot of different ways. 
but that analogy kind of fits here. All right. Uh, this is someone who's definitely afraid to give the full cup. I mean, I got fear here. All right. Afraid to say something. Afraid to say they love you. All right. Definitely a masculine energy. Divine masculine. Divine masculine. I mean, it's unreal. We already had the Empress. You might say, well, what if we get the Empress, Steve? We already had it. It was in the pre-shuffle. And it was you. So, pfft, we're there. We got Emperor, Empress, High Priest, and High Priestess. I mean, this is an important, this is a big deal. Okay? This is powerful enough energy to make a 150 foot tall radio tower disappear. That was there yesterday. And I know it was there yesterday. Okay? And I didn't hear it being taken down. It's not that far away. We would have heard the crane. They would have needed a crane for fuck's sake. All right. What's on, what's on top here? I'm saying it's weird and it's powerful energy. And this is a weird, powerful reading. Ace of Wands. Yeah, it's that Ace of Wands that flares out. Somebody gets a bright idea and then before they get to your door, they chicken out and turn around. Or someone talks them out of it. That can happen too. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Eight of Swords. Now, I love it when our overall energy shows up in the reading. It's important to look where. Okay, so this is not so much you in Eight Swords, although your energy is attached to it a little bit. You might, maybe in the sense of you wondered whatever happened to this person. Okay, but this is them. This is, this is them. Or an energy attached to them that's so worried about losing them like, a, like an overprotective mother that sabotages relationships with the son that, that, that the son has or the daughter has, right? So they can keep them close. You ain't going you you to take my child away. Right? I mean, it's something. It could be that. Or it could be somebody here who just gets in their head too much. They overthink. They overthink what they feel. And they were afraid. I don't think they're afraid anymore in this energy. I'm saying all this is changing. So we're talking about change. We saw it up in the pre-shuffle. The King of Wands, which behaves this way, always, Five of Swords for sure, turns into the King of Swords. Okay. Now, I want to pull on their soul. It's the Six of Pentacles. All right. Let's take a look. Unbelievable. I don't even know what else today has in store for me. Lucky my house is still here. Maybe I come back from the walk and it's gone too. And I talk to neighbors. Remember my house? It was over here. No, I've never seen it. What do you mean you've never seen it? What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, I don't know if we're going to jump a timeline that big. But this, this one's pretty big. Mm, I can tell you. And it's fueled by this eclipse. Alright. So <laughs> be sure and watch my eclipse reading. And then multiply that by 10. Because I didn't see this coming. I'm surprised. I'm blown away. I'm freaked out. And I'm here. Mm. And that's why God's honest truth. That is why this reading is happening. And you can see how it's playing out. I mean it's not like. You don't have to take my word for divine masculine and divine feminine. We already emperor, empress, high priestess, high priest, Jesus. What the hell? Oh, yeah. Seven swords crossing. There's that seven swords again. It's that distorted. The environmental energy around the soul is distorted or has been. Has been. Is it has been? I don't know. Yeah, it's been, it's been, there's been a little bit of a wall. We talked about this. Isn't, wasn't, didn't this come up in the eclipse reading where it was seven swords in the soul? And I talked about how it distorts. I know I mentioned Hendrix on the, in the fuzz space and the difference between overdrive and the fuzz space on the extended. You know, you got your, I taught you about the uh, univibe. You need a univibe if you want to play St and Hendrix's Star Spangled Banner. It's not just a fuzz. But everybody gets that wrong. They miss the univibe. Uh, anyway, well, those are all truthful things I'm saying. You do need a univibe. Right? You, you don't have to know what that is. It doesn't matter. You have to know I'm speaking the truth. Somebody's hearing the truth. For the first time. Somebody now finally knows how to play the song of your connection correctly. How to make it sound right. Right? All the bombs falling. All that kind of stuff that, that he does. That sound where it always sounds like it's falling. Everybody misses that one. Everybody misses the univibe. Well, now this person knows how to make the sound of your connection. How to say what they need to say with that eight of wands crossing there. Now they know what's on top. Yeah, the death card. Total transformation. Total trans. Now they know. It's absolutely. Absolutely. Coming back from the dead. Okay? Absolutely. Why is this here? Empress. Look, you wanted the Empress? You got the Empress. From this deck too. We had the Empress from the Rider Waite in the pre-shuffle. We had the Emperor here. 
We got the high priest and the high priestess, emperor and the empress directly bookending each other. Do you see this? You think that's a coincidence too. You think this is all just big coincidences. Oh, it's a coincidence. You used to call that the Tom Petty Tower and it disappeared on the day that Tom Petty died, October 2nd. Oh, sure. Yeah. It's, it's, it's just a coincidence. I'm guaranteeing you to somebody, if I were to give this reading a song, it's Mary, it's Mary Jane's Last Dance. I mean, it could be. I don't know. There could be something in there for you. Somebody's getting tired of where of the of that town again, right? Somebody is. I think your person is the character in in Mary Jane's Last Dance. I don't know. There's something here. This is too much of a. These are directly bookending each other. Yeah, somebody here is now feeling what you felt at at a different time, and now they get it. Whatever that means to you, they get it. Take that for what it's worth. They now understand how you felt. Okay? Done. That's all I got to say. Hierophant, why is it here? Let's talk to the universe. So yeah, I would say Mary Jane's Last Dance is this song. It is the song for this reading in some way. Hmm. Doesn't, you don't have to take any of the lyrics literally. You don't have to take anything I say literally. It's all about catching my drift. And that's what energy reading is. That's what real energy reading is. That's what reading signs from the universe is. You get a sign. It's not literal. All right? Very rarely does the universe send a literal message. And even when it does, there's a non-literal hidden meaning within it. Right? Always. You know, you might ask a question, a yes or no question. And you might, by surprise, a truck drives by and somebody has spray painted the word yes on it. Right? But there's more to it than that. You're not going to get just that in. Oh, there's my yes. There's more to it. What kind of truck is it? Is it a beat up old truck? Is it a new truck? What's the paint like? Who was driving the truck? How many people were in the truck? There's a lot of rabbit holes to go down to get more information. It's always a but. B-U-T. Right. There's always something to it. So yeah, there's a reason my Tom Petty Tower disappeared. And I'm here pulling this reading. And we're definitely having a timeline jump here on top of the eclipse energy. And I've got the most, one of the most divinely guided readings I've seen with the way the masculine and feminine cards are falling. I've seen in, since I've been here on YouTube. Why is the Hierophant here? Unreal. It's crossed by the Nine of Pentacles. Um, the divine masculine, the masculine side of this connection, thought they were done with it. Thought that it was done, they were fine, everything's good. I think they were mistaken. I think this energy is to show them that they're mistaken. Okay? The King of Pentacles. Yeah, I said it over here. I think this energy was afraid of you. This is your energy attached to this King of Pentacles, believe it or not. You're the eight-point buck with rainbow antlers. Somebody never felt like they had their shit together enough to come tell you something. Okay? Now this could, don't, don't, go crazy and start thinking, oh, well, they could have told me they loved me at any time. This doesn't even have to be that. This can be somebody who's afraid to tell you, you you're coming into work every day would be, oh, if you've got a soul connection with them, it can be. If they're a deep soul connection, I'm afraid to, I'm afraid to say something, you know. You got, I mean, I don't know. I'm just reading the energy. But for most of you, I get this. Somebody feels what you felt at one time, and they are definitely not afraid right now. I don't think they're afraid at all. No, there's very little resistance to five of wands. They may have been afraid before that you were going to rip their head off. Now they don't care in this energy. They don't care. Right? Alright. Five of wands. Mildest energy as it reflects back to me off these cards. It's red with the emperor. Mm. Somebody here. He's all done. They just, I'm done. They, they're showing up to talk to the high priestess. Come out of nowhere. Hidden energy. Things you didn't know you're about to find out. In this new timeline. On this new timeline. You're about to find out some things you didn't know. From somebody you thought probably was long gone. That you have a very powerful connection with. Okay. Now again, it could be a love thing. Right? Banging and all that. It could be a family member. You can have powerful connections with family members, although you will know if it's a family member you have a powerful connection with because that will be somebody who tries to keep you stuck. That'll be somebody who won't let you move 5,000 miles away. They'll, they'll guilt trip you and give you the guilt trip of the century, right? I never like it when people have deep soul connections with family members. I find in all my years of helping people that they're the most difficult to deal with. 
because the guilt trip really sets in the way the love sets in in a in a you know a love relationship deep soul connection so they end up they end up regretting their life at the end a lot because they never did anything you know they never went anywhere I grew up with a lot of people who have that you know every time I talk to a couple of people I went to high school with they, they always say I wish I had the guts you had you know and I, I don't have the heart to tell them but it wasn't about guts it was just you just had some kind of strings that tied you to where you were that's all you know I didn't or I was strong enough to break them if I did but I don't think I did you know I think I think somebody somebody sent me to the family they sent me to for a reason <laughs> like somebody played a joke on me up there in the ether all right what's going on with the high priestess but so it could be a family member it could be somebody you know you absolutely adore or would have could be somebody you were supposed to be lifelong friends with and help each other help each other keep energy balanced throughout your life right again what's important is what I'm saying while I'm shuffling not when I throw the cards I'm not a card reader I'm an energy reader there's a difference read the energy first then I throw the cards it's crossed by three swords yeah so somebody here is somebody's coming to you you find out something somebody coming to you out of the shadows you find out something you didn't know you find out how heartbroken they they are you find out how much somebody loves you that's what this three of swords is saying okay and you find out you definitely do and, and you see it through the mistakes it's what I said you want to fix your life you want to get your shit together follow the mistakes Somebody here, you'll see. You'll see somebody's going to fess up how bad they feel or whatever. They might. It's entirely possible on this timeline. I don't know when this happens. I don't get a near future. I mean, I get a near future, but I don't get like today on top of the eclipse. But I definitely get the energy of right now as a catalyst for this. Okay? And take, take whatever signs you see, things missing in your world, and try to figure out I mean, you don't really want to try to figure out the meaning. The meaning will come to you. But definitely plant the seed of let the universe know, I want to know what this means. And then let it go. Don't keep dwelling on it. Otherwise, you do fall in the trap that psychologists tell you you fall into where you create your own scenarios. Right? Don't fall into that trap. I've already put out to the universe, I want to know what it means that my radio tower that I used to call the Tom Petty Tower disappeared magically on the day anniversary of his death okay which there is you know 365 days in a year could have been any day why today and nobody knew I never told anyone that I called it the Tom Petty Tower or that Mary Jane's last dance rings in my head every time I saw it you're the only ones who know right here it's the first time I've ever said it out loud so that being said I asked the universe I put it out there I said I want to know why Eventually, I'll find out. I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm not going to think about it. I create a void. Nature abhors a vacuum. It fills it. You do the same thing with whatever in your world it is. Perhaps my sign means something to you. It might. I don't know. What's on top here? But it's a fucking true story. It's freaking me out, I will tell you. Three of Cups. This is a freaky reading. It's communication. It's the biggest card of communication for me in the Minor Arcana. Bigger than the Eight of Wands that was crossing here, which is what should have happened. Now emotional you find out how much somebody cares how much they've always cared how hurt they were or for some of you you find out how you hurt them maybe they tell you that maybe they bring in some of them are bringing conflict it's possible it's gonna play out differently for all of you I assume you're all living different lives and dealing with different people otherwise things would get pretty awkward why's the three of cups here here comes the message of change Knight of Swords. Look, I, I can't make this. This reading is so divinely guided. I feel like I stacked the cards. I didn't swear to fucking God. I mean, I, it just, this is how it plays out. Okay? I mean, this is just, it's, it's, the Knight of Swords brings a message of change. Yeah. It changes everything once this communication happens. Once you figure this out, find this out, whichever it is. Right. And again, if you're seeing signs, maybe not as big as my radio tower, at being tied to a person who died on this day, this very day. I shit myself when I Googled him and I said, well, I know it was in October, was it? Oh, shit, it was the second. You know, fuck. So, maybe it's not that big, but something, something is missing. Find it, okay? Or it'll find you, one or the other. Something's different. No matter what it is, just put it out there. And ask the tell the universe you want to know what it is and 
why it's there, why that happened, and you'll find out. You'll get that information. All right, let's um, shuffle the deck here. Let's see what else the universe wants to tell you. But you're not going to have to. But don't try and track it down yourself. Don't try and investigate. It's not going. You know, it's it's it doesn't work that way. When the when the energy talks to you, whether it's finding a feather, right? You the feather finds you, right? Or the message finds you. You can't just ask the universe for a yes no question and then walk around trying to find the word yes or no spray painted on things. It doesn't work that way. You have to just forget you you asked, create a void, and let nature do its job and fill a vacuum. Right. So anyway, what you want to do. Um, I will say a gray feather also found me this morning, which is usually an indication of smoother times to come. So I like that. I like that. Let's go. So I had a missing tower and a gray feather so far. A big gray feather at that. All right, let's go. What else you want to tell my people before I go pull some wicked voodoo? Because I have a devil. I have, I'm going to pull on your connection in the extended with this person. This is crazy. I not only have the devil and the lovers as to why we're here. I mean, you've got, I've got, an, I've got a universe that's talking about this was supposed to happen. Okay? That tells me there's something here. There's a giant energy that needs to be dealt with here that's out of balance. I don't know what it is. It's just It could be just two things coming together and it, and it resolves things. Like in a song, right? You get a bunch of tension chords, a bunch of tension chords, and then you resolve it with a nice, ah, a major chord or a nice minor chord or something like that. Well, it, it, it's just something. We need a resolve here. It's called a resolve. We need a resolve here. Queen of Cups. Which was crossed in here. Hangman, Seven of Wands, and the pre shuffle came back, and there you are, bookending the Ace of Swords. Uh, the whole pre shuffle is crossing the Hangman now. You are fixing to find out some. I don't think you have a fucking clue either who this is. Some of you don't. Some of you have it wrong who, who, who this is. Others of you have it right who this is. But you have no idea how much they've been holding back. This Three of Swords is very powerful. Very powerful. And it's, it's fueled by a Nine of Swords. It's coming to an end. You may have thought incorrectly. This is often nonsense that, that we worry about. You may have been worrying about the wrong things with this person, whoever it is. I don't know. All I know is there is a torrent of water emotion that has been held back and uh, is fixing to come out in this timeline jump. And you'll see some signs. You should see signs as to how this plays out. But those signs will find you. Don't go looking for them because of this reading. I didn't walk out of my house this morning looking for a missing radio tower. In fact, I didn't even really notice it was missing at first. I came around the corner and I just, I don't know, something's weird. Something felt weird. And I didn't even really notice it at first. Most of the neighborhood hadn't even noticed it. When I asked them about it, the couple of people I ran into, these things find you. Okay? So, you know, again, if something finds you, there you go. Uh, ask, the, ask the universe what it means and then forget you asked. And you'll probably get your answer at some point. But as far as this person attached to you goes, oh my God. I mean, I've got every indication that something that was supposed to happen is happening. And it's because of an energy that's around your connection, which is tied to that devil from the card before the cut, and that's what I'm going to pull on in the extended. If you want the extended, the link's at the top of the description. Um, I hope this reading was helpful. Unplanned, but hey, weird, crazy, yeah. I'm a little freaked out by this energy, and I'm a little freaked out about how these cards fell, to be honest with you. Death and the Empress together with an Emperor over here and a High Priest. I mean, it's fucking crazy. And then the Empress coming back again right there. I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy town. So we'll see. I hope this reading was helpful at the very least. If it wasn't helpful, I hope at least it was entertaining. Right? Maybe you give Tom Petty a download today on the anniversary of his death. Absolutely. Blows my fucking mind. Blows my fucking mind. Alright. Good luck.